I've been through my wardrobe at work again and where I keep all my fabrics and I've had a little look and I have stash busted a little bit more so I want to show you what I've discovered. Now the first thing is a vintage dress that I acquired in a bag of old clothes and that someone had cleared out of their loft. Um, now I've given this to my mum who loves unpicking and she's already unpicked the bodice from the skirt now it really was horrible <laughs> I think someone has made it in days gone by but it's got this yucky lacy trim all the way around the end and it really is quite horrible I'm not going to use the bodice for anything um, but the bottom half was just a simple gathered skirt and it's all been unpicked so I'm going to regather it make a waistband for it and it will turn itself into actually what will be quite a pretty summer skirt and it'll go really nicely with my nice new bright pink heels so that's um, a fairly quick and easy make I'm not going to use a pattern for that I'm just going to use the techniques that I've learned um, in making the Clement skirt from the Tilly and the Buttons um, Love at First Stitch sewing book um, to make that just a simple gathered skirt with a waistband Two other fabrics that I found. This one, um, there's not very much of this. Um, it's, I think, a double gauze. Um, but again, it's a vintage fabric. It's been in my stash for years and years and years, destined to always be something. There isn't very much of this, so I think I'm going to make another um, sew over it cami, um, because you really don't need very much fabric for that. So that's that one. The other one I found is some leftovers from my Tilly and the Buttons Patine dress that I made. Um, it's just a viscose, and again, I think it would make a really nice um, summer top. So I have actually drafted a pattern. I did mention that I was gonna do that. Um, I've based it very loosely on this, which is our simple summer top um, pattern um, that we do in class. Um, I've done a much lower neck, um, but I have kept the straps nice and wide. Um, so I'll show you that in my next makes video. Um, and all being well, if it's a successful one, then there'll be a second one made in this fabric. The other thing I found, I've had this in my stash probably about six years, six or seven years. My friend Jo used to live in Bangkok and um, she sent me some beautiful fabrics years ago. Can you see that? It's all gold, absolutely beautiful. It's a wax cotton um, and it's been beautifully screen printed. It's quite stiff and it's always been destined to be a shift dress but I've never found quite the right pattern. Can you see how it's got all this bottom part? So you've got this all around the bottom of the dress. So it will be really, really lovely. Um, anyway, I was really pleased last week to discover that a pattern that Elspeth and I had worked on um, a couple of years ago, which is this vintage simplicity shift pattern. Um, we made this bigger because it was quite small. Um, must have been a, almost two years ago now. Um, we made it quite a lot bigger and we made a couple of these out of old curtains but they were so wearable um, and really funky that we've both got an awful lot of wear out of those dresses. Um, sadly now they no longer fit us um, since we've um, lost the weight we have with Slimming World and so we have got to either make them smaller or start again. So Elspeth actually cracked this pattern out in the studio the other day and she remeasured herself and remeasured myself and she realised that actually all we had to do was stick the pattern back together um, and take out all of the extra fabric and extra paper that we'd put into our uh, twirls um, because this pattern actually fits us now straight out of the packet. So we're really delighted by that because it's a dress that we absolutely love. Um, it's really comfy and it's really easy to make. So I'm going to make this again for the first time, fresh from the packet, out of this lovely um, wax cotton from Bangkok. Now the last thing isn't a stash buster. I have to admit, I've been naughty and I've been, and I bought some fabric today. But the reason is because my mum came over last night and she brought me a Prima pattern, Prima sewing pattern. Now I haven't tried any of them before, but this is um, what's been torn out of the magazine. So it's a play suit, a jumpsuit, with either a v-neck or a boat neck, or you can make a cropped version of it, um, which is a bit more summery. So I love this, it looks really simple to make, I think I'll get loads of wear out of it in the summer, and I'm going to make this version here um, with the v-neck. 
Um, so I had to go to the fabric shop today to find some fabric because you need three metres because obviously it's got quite long legs and a long body. And I was really pleased to find 2.8 metres, so I think I'll just about get away with it, um, in my fabric shop in the REM basket. And it's this really lovely stripey seersucker. Now my mum used to have loads of tops made out of seersucker in the 70s, um, which she wore right through, um, 80s, 90s, um, and then I wore them when we went on holiday when I was a child. Um, and they were just like little um, blouses with tied up fronts, and I used to love them. So I think this will be really nice and cool to wear in the summer, um, and I think I'm going to get absolutely loads of wear out of it. So I'm going to get this one made up quite quickly, um, because I'm itching to get started with it. So that's all the um, stash that I've got for you. I've been busy sewing in the studio. Um, hopefully in a few days time I should be able to do a makes video for you um, where I can catch up on some of the things I've been making and telling you about um, over the last few videos. And also there's a couple of things um, that I've never even talked about that have been hanging in the studio unfinished um, for a long time. And I actually sat down today with my new machine and um, finished off all of those unfinished makes so I can show you all of those as well. So I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and um, do comment below please. Um, I like your comments, I like to uh, help you out if you get stuck on anything or if you've got any questions to ask um, and hopefully I'll be back in a few days time with a makes video. So thanks for watching. Bye bye. If you like to stop and smell the flowers